Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed this weekend. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe. It'll greatly be appreciated. And even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough on the content that I'm talking about today, please drop me a line or two. I love to get the positive feedback. That will greatly be appreciated. And please give me a big thumbs up, like, share. It will greatly be appreciated also. And thank you so much for the love and support. And namaste. And from our returning subs, what's up, fam? Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And namaste to you as well. And thank you for the love and support. And come and see about the channel today. Today I am listening to 432 Hertz. Raise your vibration and cleanse the negative energy. I'll go ahead and put that link in the description box below. I don't know what it is. I feel so filled with joy today. My video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, are you going to be ready for whatever is coming? Are you going to be ready? I mean, it's just so many things have been happening to me in the last few weeks. My emotions has been like haywire. It's been crazy. And talking to other Hayokas are going through the same thing. They're actually reuniting. Some of them are reuniting with their twin flames. Some of them are reuniting with the, their, their twin souls that they're supposed to. And there's so much things that are happening around me that so many blessings are happening. Even though they're not for me, I'm still happy for the people that are around me that are catching up blessings. And usually, you know, at times like this when it's coming close to my dad's anniversary and seeing all this not really having anything going on for myself, even though I see all the other things coming. I see more Hayokas coming towards the forefront, you know, more getting comfortable enough. You know, to actually speak out and say, you know what, I'm going through this too. Or yes, I have a bad tip. Or yes, I feel like I joke a lot. And sometimes I don't like to take things seriously. Yes, I deal with stuff ass backwards. You know, yes, I might have been born a twin or I might have been born a breach. You know, had all these crazy things happen along the way. But it's like bringing us to where we need to be right now. And it's just wondering, are you? ready for whatever's coming because like I was talking to another Hayoka and it was just like I feel something's coming and it's something that we really need right now I don't know what it is but it's something good you know some people you know I talk to about it like oh my god is this something good because you know last time I had feelings like this is like when my dad died or Whitney Houston died or even when my mom died and it was sometimes I would act weird and didn't know it you know I didn't realize that I was doing that even when my sister died. So it's just like this feeling that I have is overwhelming, but it's like a beautiful feeling because it's just like, I know the closer I get to things, the more memories come out, things that I know I shouldn't remember, things I know I, there is no way of me knowing unless I talk to a family member. And it's just like, it's just so crazy because it's helping me heal and helping me get so much strength and you know, I'm seeing that the more videos that I put out, the more people comes out, the more people speak up for themselves, the more people that give their opinion about things. That's why I said I want to go ahead and make a Hayoka book, because it's just like, I've never heard of these, these things. It just lets you know, there's more than us human beings out here. There's some people that say, oh, I don't believe in aliens, or I don't believe in the supernatural. You never know if God was to be able to place us here, or whoever has created us, you know, it goes further than us it goes really further than that further than eyes can see especially I notice when I get to a certain level of me getting to my consciousness I can I, I see myself in the fifth dimension I see myself breaking through the matrix you know I see things that are double double shot it looks crazy but I'm just wondering are you going through the same thing you know it's just like it's like me against the world you know I'm fighting that you know get myself to be that better version of myself and I feel it and it's just like a slingshot then <laughs> I feel like it's like a slingshot and all these blessings are coming and it's like I see all the little ones and you have to appreciate the little things that you know when you're getting closer and closer to your journey and you know where you need to be like 
in your the best version of yourself, you'll start start noticing things that are around you that are changing, the people that you talk to, the way that you react to things, the way that you go about things, the way that you handle things that you might have flipped out about before, you just let it go. That lets you know you're being a better version of yourself. Things that you know you used to flip out on, it could be people that used to aggravate you. And you notice that you just don't even have the energy enough to just do it anymore. That lets you know you're getting ready for whatever's coming. So you have to prepare yourself. Notice the, even the littlest things. That's why I try to tell you. Notice the, the littlest things that you even might find irrelevant This in your life. Might make a big, giant impact on your life. You never know. You never really know. And you might notice a big shift is coming along. You want to have these blood moons or the blue moon or the, the lunar eclipse or the solar, solar eclipse and all these crazy things back to back to back for some odd reason. If there wasn't something getting ready to just like, you know, have us like what the, <laughs> you know, something's really, I really feel like something's about to happen. And, you know, the spirit guys tell me, you know what, you need to make these videos, you need to make this message known. You know, I need to lead by example, which is going to be my next video. You know, it, it, it's just doing my part. You know, I can't do this by myself. You know, the you Hayokas, you Indigos, you Lightworkers, whoever is watching these videos, you need to do your part. And get prepared. Be the prepper for your own life. And have that blueprint so you know where you're going. And get there so you can get there. You know, let go of the things that you can no longer that no longer serve you. Let go of the things that you cannot change. Let go of the anger that you have towards people and the situations that you've been put in. Let it go. And I had to turn tell, my, tell myself that. And I know I'm saying something right because my ears are ringing like crazy. So all I'm saying is get prepared. Be prepared for whatever is coming towards you. And you'll notice a lot of things in your life. If you're doing, you're on that right path, you'll notice a lot of things. You do not go about the same way that you might have went about it last year or last week or even yesterday. Just pay attention. And I will see you on my next video. Drop a line or two. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Keep me in your prayers and I will definitely keep you in mind. Much love to you. Peace. Wow.